Colossians 1.12, regeneration qualified us. Redemption transferred us. Qualified as heirs. Giving thanks to the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Amen. This phrase, made us meet, means qualified. He has past tense qualified me to be a partaker of the inheritance. Amen. How did he qualify me? He uh, By begetting me. Remember, it says in John, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on him, or on his name. Uh, John 1, 12. Amen. We are sons of God by adoption and by life. He begat us by the incorruptible seed of the word of God, which lives and abides forever. 1 Peter 1, 23. Amen. Now we have the divine life and the divine nature and are sons of God, and Jesus is our brother. Amen. We are a family. There is the life but there is also the adoption. That's what we see in Galatians. In Galatians, when it says we might receive the adoption of sons, that word sons is not babes, but full grown heirs. Galatians 4, 5. Amen. In the Roman society, excuse me, in the Roman society, rich families would have a steward take care of a child and train them up. When it came to the adoption, where they reached a full age of maturity so that they could partake in the household responsibilities, they were given a signet ring to show they were a son of the father. He uses the analogy of the law as a schoolmaster to lead us to Christ, and now we are in Christ, so we're no longer under the schoolmaster. Galatians 3, 24 and 25. Amen. So there are these stewards, and we, under their care, theoretically, in bondage under the elements of the world, Galatians 4, 3. But then we were adopted into God's family, and he treated us as full-grown heirs, with, uh, full-grown heirs the moment we are saved. Amen. Yes, we are children, and, and John says there are fathers, young men, and babes in Christ, 1 John 2, 13. That's by life. But as far as qualification goes, the minute you get in, you're fully qualified. Amen. That's why I've said in the past that the highest position you can attain, uh, attain to in the kingdom is brother. That's why John calls himself not an apostle in Revelation but a brother, Revelation 1, 9. Amen. It's the highest you can go, the last thing you can say. We are made brothers of Christ and heirs together with Christ of God. We are qualified right now to partake of the inheritance. Amen. For me, this is a big deal because I was with a group that dangled the inheritance in front of you saying, that you could be saved, but maybe not an heir. They try to say that if we don't mature, we won't have the inheritance. They said we had to mature in this age to be qualified for the inheritance in the next age, which was the millennium. So they said that if you do not qualify, you could be in the outer darkness for a thousand years, weeping and gnashing your teeth, while being disciplined and growing so you can finally enter the new Jerusalem. If that don't sound like Catholicism, I don't know what is. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. We were saved, but it was miserable. Amen. Uh, it was like having Catholic purgatory. Go. It was like having Catholic purgatory hanging over your head. Amen. They built... They, they built that whole thing on the idea that you could be saved and not inherit the kingdom. It took me years to see that in Romans 4, justification is not just the forgiveness of sins, like with David, Romans 4, 6, and 7, 
but Abraham was justified that he would be the heir of the world. Romans 4.13 Justification in Abraham's case, apart from works, had no reference to sin. The gospel preached to Abraham was that he has been made an heir of the world to come. Romans 4.13 Galatians and Galatians 3.8 we are justified from our sins and we are also justified and qualified to be an heir and to have the inheritance, which is sure to all the seed. Romans 4.16 Everyone who has been baptized into Christ has been made an heir together with Abraham because we have put on Christ. Galatians 3.18 Amen. He's the real heir. And we are partakers of him and therefore partakers of the inheritance. Amen. Here the Father has qualified us, here the Father has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance with the saints in the light. Yes, that's ultimately the goal. Excuse me. Yes, that's ultimately the glory. And to enjoy Christ to be in the new Jerusalem and be in the kingdom. However, in this age, there is still a portion to be enjoyed with the saints, and it's in the fellowship. Amen. It's this joy that we have in knowing the assurance, having the Spirit bear witness with us, having the comforts of God, and the delights of having the Spirit enjoying the riches of Christ together, enjoying seeing our inheritance, and being a blessing. Amen. That is for this age as well, and we are qualified for this the moment we are saved. Amen.